Hi, my name is LaShawn J, and welcome back to my channel. So, it seems like we're not going to be having a third season of The Hills. Very disappointed. I caught the whole interview with um, Juicy Scoop and Spencer, and where he talks about he's hoping that people don't watch The Hills. He bashed mostly all of his cast members, and he's saying that he started his own spinoff show, and he hopes there's not a third season of The Hills, which is very disappointing to me. Spencer talked about how nobody wanted to show their real life, and they all had a fake facade for the show. They wanted the show to be about these made up stories, but nothing pertaining to, nothing pertaining to their real life. He talked about how, you know, he went to bat for this cast members and he tried to have, uh, uh, he thought it would be like a Jersey Shore type of show, but it wasn't, they all just turned on him and tried to create a bad storyline for him and Heidi. He talked about Audrina having her whole life out on TMZ, but when it came to the show, she would not want her life on the show, and that made the show boring, and he just hated that. He's like, you know, Audrina had all this juicy stuff going on with um, her divorce and her, her husband, and she would not want to have any of it on the show. I totally agree with Spencer. The juiciness of the show is their life. Your life story is what would keep us as the audience captivated. It would keep us interested. It would keep the media talking about you. This is why when you pop up on TMZ, you're the talk of the town and everybody wants to know what's going on. I understand Audrina doesn't want her personal life flaunted out you know, all the horrible things that happen within a divorce flaunted out um, on the show and exploited on the show. But at the end of the day, that is what reality TV is about. That is what we want to see. And they really should have had more of their lives on the show. So on that topic, I totally agree with Spencer. Then he talked about Justin Bobby, how Justin Bobby constantly uses the word nomad, 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 how him and Justin Bobby almost got into like a physical altercation because he didn't like what Spencer was saying about him. And he just <laughs> threw Justin Bobby underneath the bus. He told us how great of an actor Justin Bobby was when he, Justin Bobby gave us that whole scenario about him going back to his childhood home where he lost his mom and he was a gangbanger and he was a tennis player and he was all these different kind of things. He had to go to jail. It just all that whole setup, that whole scenario, that him crying in the house, he said, it was all fake. It was all fake. So bravo, Justin Bobby. A round of applause for Justin Bobby for convincing all of us he was all these different things. <laughs> and going back to his childhood home. Instead of showing us your real life and your real life story, we get this whole made-up story about your life. Bravo, Justin Bobby. Now we move on to Whitney and her husband, where Spencer talked about how they does their reviews on YouTube about the old season, but Whitney didn't want to come on the show and share her whole life. And he felt like that's ridiculous because her husband is talking about him saying that he was an alcoholic in the, the old seasons, but hey, why not come on the show and talk about it and get more money? And I totally agree with him on that one, too. You know, they're constantly doing reviews about the show, but she has, like, little pop-up scenes here and there on the new beginnings. Just come on the show, show who you are, and 
let just let us see your life like what is what is going on with this cast that nobody can see who they really are we hardly see anything about Whitney she comes in she was talking to Heidi about the whole incident that happened between um Heidi and Ashley but when do we get to see your life when do we get to judge you and arguments that you have with your husband or your or friends you know you come on no trips you just pop in give your opinion and pop out so I really hope if there is a third season which we don't know at this point, but if there is a third season, we get to see more of Whitney. We get to see Justin Bobby's real life. We get to see Audrina's real life. I hope these cast members take that in and show, expose more of their selves because withholding yourself is just not giving you the numbers and not giving you the ratings and not giving you the money that y'all want. Then he talked about the whole Ashley and Jason topic and how everybody took what he said way and blew it up way out of proportion. You know, he was saying to them, hey, you know, saying to this guy, hey, I don't want you to fall off the wagon because, you know, we should be talking about this over, you know, bagels and tea. We shouldn't be talking about this when I was drinking and we're at a dinner table and we're screaming and yelling at each other. We should have had this talk a different time at a different place. That was not the right time to talk about it. And obviously, like I saw all season, I was saying in my reviews is that, they constantly just nitpick at these tiny little things, you know. Hey, yeah, he shouldn't have talked about you being sober. But in Spencer's defense, like he explains on the Juicy Scoop interview, he said, hey, he really does not know him. He really doesn't know Jason. And he said last season when Jason was talking about being sober to everybody, he was not sober. So who knows if he's really sober this time. They're having a whole sobriety party. Who knows if it's true? You know, he was just being optimistic. Like, maybe it is true. Maybe it's not. But I don't really know. You know, I don't know the guy. I personally don't know him. I don't hang out with him when the cameras are turned off. So that's basically all he was trying to say. That everything got blew way out of proportion and that he was drinking and he was upset, he felt attacked, and he was just telling him, hey, don't fall off the wagon, you know, but everybody took it the wrong way, which they would because everybody else was drinking and they was arguing in it. And yeah, usually the cast do because, you know, they really attack Heidi and Spencer over anything and everything. I also saw the review, the podcast that was done with, Ashley and she talked about the whole situation with Heidi and Spencer and she says that she basically was blindsided she said that she really thought at the ending of the season that her Heidi and Spencer squashed the beef but when she started seeing all these podcasts and interviews that you know Heidi and Spencer were doing and they were basically bashing them and throwing them under the bus she really was shocked and she thought that everything was squashed but she guessed it really wasn't and she was really upset about them not really pushing for a third season because a lot of people really risked their lives during COVID to put these shows up a lot of people would be out of jobs They were thankful to be even working during COVID time because a lot of people was out of work, you know, and she was saying that a lot of people would lose their jobs and they have more of their lives and stories that they would want to have out there and they want to keep the show going. So she doesn't understand why Spencer and Heidi would not want to push for a third season. And on that note, I do agree with her, you know. With everything that went on between her, Heidi, Spencer, and her husband, Jason, I believe they have a lot more story to tell. They were one of the few people who actually showed their real lives and the ins and outs. And Jason came clean with him not being sober and going back, you know, 
in rehab or trying back to become sober again, they really put their lives out there and they feel like they have more of a story to tell. And I think they should have a third season. My personal opinion, me as the audience, I love the show. I love all the cast members on the show. And I think that that they should have a third season. I mean, the season kind of got repetitive and boring, especially with the feud, the ongoing feud, the never-ending feud, the feud that felt like it was not ever going away between, you know, Ashley and Jason and Heidi and Spencer, which Heidi and Spencer wanted the feud gone, but Ashley and Jason continuously, continuously, episode after episode, talked about it and and just dragged that storyline on and on and on. But other than that, I really think the show was a good show. I hope if they do have a third season that it won't pertain of extra, extra long storylines. Let's get past it and move on. That is more entertaining than a storyline being dragged on for episode and episode until the season ends. So uh, in overall review, I am happy for Heidi and Spencer for getting their own spinoff and getting their own show, which could be done the way they want it to be done. Hopefully it's entertaining. Hopefully it's not a flop because of all the shade that they threw on the hills. Hopefully it doesn't backfire and the show becomes a flop with no ratings. Let's hope that karma doesn't come back on to you. Spencer and Heidi but I am happy that y'all are having your own show but I still really hope that y'all do consider coming back on the hills if they do have a season three um even if y'all are not part of season three I am hoping to see the other cast members on there I think they have enough entertainment to bring the show to another season but congratulations on your spinoff show because Spencer announced that he has started recording for the spinoff for him, Heidi, him and Heidi. Sorry. So um, hopefully y'all have time out your busy day out of the bashing session that y'all have been doing about the show. And y'all will dedicate time to being on both shows, your spinoff and um, the Hills season three.